As passenger, you may wonder what is being transported in the cargo hold of the aircraft. Air freight accounts for about 1% of total freight by weight transported worldwide, but some 35% in total freight value. From this statistic, it is tempting to say that only high-value commodities move by air and that relatively low-value products are more likely to travel by truck, train, or ship. However, there is more to it. Air cargo is indeed the model choice for high-value goods, but also for cargo requiring special handling, like perishables, pharmaceuticals, live animals and oversized shipments, as well as emergency supplies. We distinguish general and special cargo. General cargo is ordinary shipment that doesn't require special handling, but still must meet the specified requirements and safety aspects. Example of goods that are categorized as general cargo include household goods, office equipment, sports equipment, clothing. Special cargo is shipments that require special handling. This type of goods can basically be transported by air and must meet the requirements and special handling in accordance with IATA regulations and or the all, uh, airline's requirements. Goods or materials included in the special cargo category uh, are perishable goods uh, that are easily damaged, destroyed, or rotten, such as fruits, vegetables, meat, flowers, fish, plant seeds. We have valuable goods, they are goods that have high value, uh, like gold, diamonds, uh, platinum, checks. The air cargo industry deals with high security shipments regularly, and many companies specialize in the secure transport of expensive art, fashion items, such as watches, jewelry, and other items like, like the gold and currency shipments. Vulnerable cargo, such as silver, works of art, cigarettes, coins, uh, precious stones that are not valuable, uh, high-quality branded clothing, passports, uh, secret documents. We also have the diplomatic pouch, uh, which are the diplomatic shipment items. The live animals is another uh, special cargo category. It's all those animals sent by airplanes, such as chicks, horses, goats, fishes, etc. Human remains, uh, so the human corpse uh, can be in two categories. Uh, one uh, is the uncremated coffin, uh, where the, the form of the body is still, uh, still there. Uh, and the other one is cremated, uh, which is a body that has been in the form of ashes and is usually sent using a jar or a wooden box. Live human organs are also goods in the forms of human organs that are still uh, uh, functioning, such as the uh, kidney, liver, etc. So they are special cargoes. Other categories include the oversized and heavy cargo, uh, which are the goods that are exceeding the normal parameters of width, length, height, and weight. Uh, such as uh, an entire satellite communication systems, uh, a field hospital, uh, gas processing plants, uh, fleets of vehicles, aircraft parts, helicopters. They mostly need heavy lifter aircraft such as the Antonov uh, freighters. Dangerous goods uh, are goods that are dangerous and can cause damage to the environment, to uh, the human or the flight safety. Types of dangerous goods include explosive goods, such as gunpowder, bullets, firecrackers, fireworks, flame maple, uh, liquids, such as like paints, alcohols, toxic and infection substances. Those are the goods that, are, uh, that contain poisons, uh, pesticides, uh, viruses, uh, bacteria. Radioactive material uh, is a substance that when exposed to light uh, will react and can be harmful to humans, animals, and some types of cargo. The full list of dangerous goods and the associated regulations, rules, and procedures are contained in the IATA Dangerous Goods Regulations, the DGR manual. <laughs>